How's it going everyone? It's Classy. And in this video I'm going to show how to set up a Plex server with the NVIDIA Shield and also how to troubleshoot it. So right now I have it installed. Oops. And what I'm going to do is hit the uh, settings button up here. I'm going to go down to apps. And something you need to know about having a Plex server on the Shield is it's technically two apps. So we want to go to see all apps, then we're going to go down to the bottom, show system apps, then go down to Plex. Doo -doo. All right, so here, Plex Media Server. This is a completely separate app. So the first step, if you're having issues with it, is to just search by voice Plex Media Server app, and then that will bring you to it, and you can update it. But another thing you can do is you can come here for force stop, clear data, clear cache, all this stuff. So you just do that, do that, or if you want to force stop, open, or what I'm going to do right now is uninstall so I can start from the beginning and show you how to set up the server. So now I need to do the same for the regular Plex app. So again, you have your clear cache here, clear data, force stop, uninstall. All right, so now it's as if you have an NVIDIA Shield and you haven't done a Plex server yet, or even the Plex app. So what you need is a Shield Pro to have the USB port that will support a large hard drive. So I'm using a 12 terabyte hard drive uh, and if we hit the settings button again <coughs> you can go to device preferences and storage and you can see what's here so I have a 12 terabyte drive you can also toggle transfer files over local network and if I were to press this it would show the username and password and IP address so from your computer on your local network you can access and transfer files that way. So when setting up the external drive for Plex, the file location names have to just be in the root folder, movies for movies, series for TV shows, etc. So all of that is on the Plex website. It tells you how to make those folders uh, and how to place them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to voice search Plex app going to install this but I'm not going to launch it yet and just a reminder if you can press the like button while this is installing that will help others to find this video also check the description link for affiliate links to Amazon for the shield and other devices all right now I'm not going to open this yet what I'm also going to do is voice search again Plex media server app I'm going to install this. So now if you have a regular shield or if you're just not going to use the media server from the shield then you could just use the Plex app if you already have that set up on your computer or another device. But if you want to use the shield as a Plex server then you need to install this app as well. So now I'm going to add Plex to my favorites. And if you long press, you can move it. Now the first time you launch it, it's going to detect that you have the media server app. Uh, so after I sign in here, um, when you set up an account, I suggest you just do that from website on the PC. All right, so now that it's linked to my account, you can enable Plex Media Server. We want that checked. And then we want to hit Next. All right, you can create the default libraries with this checkbox, or you can go on to Plex.tv on your PC and go to your account, go to your server, and adjust the default libraries from there. 
Uh, so I'm actually going to do that myself. So I'm going to hit next. And here you just got to give it permission to access the storage drive. Yes. Alright, now it's going to start up for the first time. But it's going to initially use the internal drive of the shield. So after this right here is done, we need to tell it that we want to use the external drive. Now my external drive already has all my media already on it. So when I do that, it's going to take quite a long time to fully find everything because uh, I have about 8 terabytes on there, I believe. Uh, but I will skip through all of that. Alright, the server is now set up. And when you see the like finish button is gray, that means it's not highlighted. So press the directional buttons until it highlights it. Alright, so after you pick your default server, you can pick what shows up on your home screen. So Plex has live TV, movies and shows, web shows, podcasts, etc. Now if you want to remove all of that stuff, you can go to the three dots up the top and then reset the customization. You'll have to relaunch the app for it to remove all of it from the home screen. And you can adjust it that way. Now, so now we want to go to settings, go down to Plex Media Server, storage location is default to internal. You want to do let's do it. Pick your external drive. Alright, that actually didn't take long. Uh, it didn't find the media, it just was changing the drive. So none of the media is going to pop up yet because I have to do the folders. So that means coming away from here. But first, I want to close out of everything. Relaunch and see now this is the home screen since I removed all of the free stuff off. And after I set up the folders, it will only show my own content, which is how I want it but you can add whatever you want. All right, so here we are on the desktop website. You can manage libraries, add library, movies, add folder. So now it's going to find the drive that's connected to the shield. And because again, the movies folder is in the root folder, which is where it has to be to be found, it's right there. Let's click Add, Add Library, and we're going to add another one for TV shows. And TV shows has to be called Series. So now it's start going to start scanning, which this is what's going to take quite a while for it to find all of the content that I have because I have so much on here already. Um, so this is all my stuff. It's starting to pick up, but it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna take quite a while. So now, why do you want this? Well, you know, I have like 500 plus, you know, physical Blu-ray movies. I can rip them, put them on here, and then stream to any device anywhere with an internet connection. So let me grab my phone and see if it'll let me start streaming something before this is finished. Alright, so here I am on my phone. Let's see if I can get it to focus on it. Setting up customization for the Plex app on the phone. You can see I'm on 5G, I'm not on the home network. Alright, so here under remote access is where you can set the upload speed that your internet is capable of, or the just put a cap on how much you want to provide to your server. Uh, I don't want to click on this because then it shows IP address and all kinds of information, so I'm not going to show that in the video, but that's where it is. 
Here under dashboard, you can see your bandwidth. Um, and if you were to use a computer Plex server, you can also see like your process, you know, how much the processor video cards being used and so on. All right, here we are on my phone. The sixth day is playing from the Plex server. You can see 5G. So it's on the mobile connection. It is not on the home internet connection. All right, so back on the shield, I'm gonna launch Plex. It's still in the process of finding things. So I don't think my TV shows are listed yet. Yeah, some of them are, actually. So when you put TV shows in, you just need to title them where it's S for season, the number, then E for episode. So it could be a folder that you have for Dexter season three, and then you would have the name of the episode, or you can just say Dexter, and then S03 E01. That would be season three, episode one. And then that's how you make it where it keeps all of them in order. Now, if you enable audio pass through, then this is how you can get HD audio through the shield to your TV, through which then goes on to ER to your receiver, or if it's going to your receiver, then it's just all direct. So, and then if you go to library, it just shows it all alphabetical. You can search over here. You can also voice search. Twenty eight days later. <clears throat> All right, now this title is 4K HDR 7.1 True HD. Play from the start. See HDR in the corner. Atmos True HD. All speakers active. Skip ahead a little bit. Alright, I guess that pretty much covers it for the NVIDIA Shield and using it as a Plex media server. So there's, uh, if you need to add content to it, you do that from your PC, transferred over network. Um, there's plenty of information and videos out there about that, uh, but this should get you started. And I guess I'll uh, maybe do more follow-up videos on the Shield for other apps and other things uh, if there's enough interest. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. Have a good one.